Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to World at War Comics. My next special guest is artist, creator, extraordinaire, Mr. Marco Ferrari. Marco, thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited to talk about your history in comic books and, of course, that new title, Scarlet. That's part of the Energon universe, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but first off, how are you, Marco? Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm doing fine. I'm having a very nice uh, 2024 uh starting year so uh i'm i'm excited i'm very happy for all the projects that are opening up and also uh, i'm happy to see how people will, will receive my my art on the new book so kind of excited yeah i would think so uh you know when skybound got the rights to transformers and gi joe um, and then we got those first, uh, you know, Void Rivals came out first, which everyone was really excited about. Of course, Robert Kirkman doing the writing, and he's just incredible. Um, but then we started to see, you know, Larry Hama come over and continue G.I. Joe, and then Transformers, then G.I. Joe. Um, man, it's been crazy with Cobra Commander, Duke. And then we get this news about Scarlet, um, which I'm really excited about. And I saw that you were on it and I did go through my comic books. I'm like, I already have something from Marco. Um, so I was really excited because I, I already knew who you were and, uh, I was already familiar with your art. I love it in Frontiersman and Antioch, which are the two titles that I'm, I'm familiar with. Um, so when yeah. I saw that you were on, uh, Scarlet, I got really excited. And that's why I reached out to you. So I'm glad that you responded so we could kind of talk about your career. Um, but can we start like at the beginning did you grow up into comic books? You always loved comic books, or was it something that happened later on in life? No, uh, I mean, I always been uh, a comic lover uh, from early years uh, when I was a kid because my older brother uh, had a lot of comic books from Mickey Mouse here in Italy. They're big for for kids to start learning how to read with uh, Mickey Mouse comics. So I started with that, and in middle school, I uh, started getting into more more superhero comics. So I started digging through the convention for for this weird character that I found out on the internet. It's called Deadpool, and <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't published a lot. So I had to go through all the old issue and find out stuff. So I remember that when I was in high school. And I found out a friend to call me and said, Marco, they're going to publish uh, a whole series about that. I was ecstatic. So I remember that issue 12 here in Italy of Deadpool had this Deadpool team up story about Thor and Deadpool. And it was drawn by Matteo Scalera. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and that's when it clicked basically so if i'm here it's because of him yeah uh, after after that i basically decided that it's what i want to do yeah. and so i worked all i did an art school as high school and mm -hmm. after that i started studying for doing comics with an italian artist that's been my professor and i'm one of my biggest friends that uh teach me all I know about comics and uh, I started very very easily because I was still a student I worked like a whole year part-time to <laughs> save up money and I came for the first time in the U.S. for the New York Comic Con with my <laughs> portfolio in hand going through all the people you know this 19 guy that I, I mean I knew enough English but uh, how could it have been? This was my first time using it uh, for real. So uh, it's been quite fun. And so that, that was my first time uh, getting in contact with the real comic book uh, universe. Yeah. And after that, I, I had the luck of uh, get the contact of uh, Victor Gishler. At the time, he was still very... Um, heavy on comic books now he he write more books than yeah. doing comics but at the time he was always looking for young artists that want to start doing stuff and he was more open to try work with everyone and help um, smaller and young artists to 
get into the, the, the work. So he was very happy to wrote for me a small story for uh, American Gothic Press mm. from the famous monster uh, publishing. At the time, they were doing an anthology for Ackermansion for uh, Ackerman um, called the Tales from the Acker Mansion. Mm. And I did a small story there. And after that, um, all the things start building up. I worked for uh, American Gothic Press for a whole year for doing, uh, completing some issue of, of smaller comics they were doing. Uh, I worked with, uh, I met Patrick Kindelon, of course, the writer of uh, my prior series in Image. So, uh, we met at that time and we started building some stuff together. Uh, my first, uh, let's say, bigger uh, series was a creator on a series with him uh, called Patient Conviction Revenge um, for the for Aftershock, the, the late Aftershock. Yeah. Uh, um, at the time, we, we, we had Mike Martz that, that was very happy to have us there. So, I thanks also all the people that I met uh, on my on my career because I always met very wonderful people and that helped me grow a lot, not only as an artist but also as a professional, knowing what's the real uh, mm. word behind it. So after that, we started. Mm, there, there's been a, a, an off year where we started pitching. Uh, our um, biggest project of Frontiersman and Antioch and all this big series. We had the 2020 lockdown and between blocking all, all the stuff, then we had the, the book coming out. But basically, uh, um, after my after we reached the image, I started working on that for until um, next year. I mean, uh, we finished um, working on, on the image series uh, this November. So after that, um, I was working already to um, working with um, Skybound yeah. for, for the new series. And here we are. Um, in the last year, the only new things I have in between is that uh, Humanoids has starting doing um a series of book to to uh for their uh 15th anniversary oh okay uh or 40th anniversary yeah for the anniversary on 54 probably too much but uh basically they they're they're publishing some books out. i'll be an artist of a big graphic novel Okay. That will be out both in English and French because it's for both the market. And I'll be the artist. It's a big book, so I'm working for a lot. I'm working on it from a long time, and will take a, a little bit more to come out. But um, I'm also working on that too. Uh, mean well, so uh, I'm quite busy. Very happy because. Uh, I have to say I'm always being very lucky. I know that a lot of people struggle to find work, and it's also a diff very difficult market and world of job that to get in. So I admit I'm, I've been very lucky. Not that it's all luck, I know, but I'm very thankful for for what I could be able to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, as far as art goes, um, after you read the Deadpool um, and Thor uh, matchup, were you already drawing up to that point? Or is that when it really caused no. you to be very excited about drawing? No, I always drawn a lot. Yeah. Oh. Um, I, was, I always loved drawing. My first comic book was in uh, elementary school, was a comic about uh, some ninja cats fighting with samurai dogs. <laughs> uh, and it's the early I, I remember but I always loved doing comics and drawing stuff so at that point I, some of those drawings Marco do you still have some of those drawings from uh, uh <laughs> no, from, from that, that time no, <laughs> no. no. I, the oldest stuff I have because I recently transferred 
So uh, I'm bit, I was between moving the old the oldest stuff I found was my uh, the thesis I've done for my high school exam final exam. Oh, it, yeah. Of course, was made in, I I did a comic about um, Superman and uh, Spider Man because I, I did uh, in the uh, uh, in Italian high school at the final exam you have to prepare some kind of cases to show the professor what, what you studied and it's something you have to do but out of, of the uh, studying subject you, you worked on during the year so yeah. I choose of course the, the superhero and I found all the subjects from uh, very classic uh, subjects and how they could work with the superhero so I remember I did a comic about uh, Spider-Man versus Electro and talked about how um, electricity works and all the stuff to show the professor that I started uh, all the stuff. So it was pretty fun, but that's still the stuff I I had. Uh, but after that, no, I, older than that, I I'm not sure what what I have. Probably it's more like classic statue I copied uh, at school, like you know, doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, basically. Uh, that, that's how I grew up for um, uh, style wise. I I admired and I still admire Matteo a lot. Yeah, I I say it's my favorite artist. In fact, for my um, debut comics in in Image Frontiersman, I asked him uh, if he could do a variant cover for issue one. Uh, so. That was important for me. It's always been very important. He's also uh, very friendly and helpful. He's always had nice words with for me. So um, that's a, that's also been uh, fun and good for me that, that I had the, 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 the luck to meet and know him personally at some point. But uh, I, I have to say I had some kind of moment I... I I found a new, uh, or I discovered a new artist, and I did the jump. So I remember that after that, I knew of Jamie Howlett and, and Red Tanker. And after that, I remember I found uh, what at the time for me was totally new, but it wasn't. It was uh, Sean Murphy. Yeah, yeah. He's incredible. Um, so after that, I started studying from... Who, who they started to, to, to get what they are doing. So Jorge Zafino and, and I started studying also Paul Pope and I found all the Pope-ish artists and James Soren and Warren Johnson and all that, those artists. And I started digging through all the uh, artists that are basically the superstar of the moment. Um, but if I have to say, it all started there with Matteo. Yeah, Matteo. But I also remember that I was very, very in love with Humberto Ramos' art. Yeah. Because uh, I was a big Spider-Man uh, reader. So when I was in high school, there was all the uh, all spectacular Spider-Man from him. And I also remember I... I to have the Spider Island uh, series first uh, as first as possible before it was published in Italian. I got in a in a store in in my hometown in Milan to get the the English issue because they had them first and because I wanted to know what, what, how his art is gonna be. I always loved his art and it's very good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, now we get to. Uh the newest title that everyone's really excited about. Um, so when I saw um, the, cause I follow, obviously follow Skybound. And when they first came out that there's going to be a Destro series and a Scarlet series, I got really excited and talking amongst other fans of GI Joe. I'm super happy that they are moving in that direction where they're, even if they're just doing one shots or small series, it's amazing to bring some of these characters that have been so important to the GI Joe franchise franchise to their own title to get to know them a little bit better 
and me being almost 50 years old, I remember watching these, uh, the cartoons on Saturday mornings, um, cause I was a big fan, uh, in elementary school of watching GI Joe. And then I saw your name on the Scarlet and I saw your cover. I'm like, Oh, he's because like I said, I, I, I know you from frontiersman in Antioch. And I was like really excited because I really enjoy your art. And for people that haven't seen your art, I mean, it's, it's spectacular. Marco, you're very talented. Right. Very talented. Thank you so much. Yeah, he has beautiful art. So I'm, I cannot wait to get my hands on uh, Scarlet and see uh, the interiors of your work. But uh, that must have been an exciting call um, to get that they wanted you to be on that title. Yeah, uh, it's it's been um, like a second phase because I started collaborating for, uh, for Skybound uh, last summer. They contacted me for something they are not I like I'm not able to talk about, but um basically after that they were looking they were looking to because they announced it, I was in here Scott last year. Um and the day they announced it, the Transformers series by by Warren Johnson. So um I knew the the, the clash it did when that happened. I was there and people freaked out at yeah. the panel. <laughs> um, so it was very fun. And so they contacted me asking me, look, we had planned to have a ton of variant covers because a lot of mm, retailers ask for uh, retailer covers. So do you want to do one and accept it? It was very fun. It was my first time working on Transformers. So uh, it's also a nice uh, proving ground. Um, so after that, they also asked me, look, we're working on expanding the GA Joe universe because the energy uh, universe is expanding. We will have Duke and Cobra Commander. So I worked on, uh, covers for, for those two. And at some point, um, the editor was, uh, very, I would say pushy, but uh, he he he, he wants me on one of the series. So he asked me more than once if I would like to to do some of them. I said, yeah, um, I would would be fun. Like I mean, uh, it's totally something uh, I would like to try doing. After all the time working on myself, uh, it was something I was open to try. Even though I admit I'm I'm not a fan of the GI Joe, not because I don't want to, but also because of time frame and also in Italy wasn't that famous. I mean, then I think it wasn't the main, um, main characters that, that you can find on uh, TV. I mean, I grew up more with the uh, TMNT with Ninja Turtles. So uh, I'm from that time frame, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was been fun. So, they basically told me, look, we, we, we really want you on this uh, mini series about Scarlet. And I, I was, yeah, like I said, I'm not a fan. So I was afraid of working on something that specific because it would ask a very huge knowledge, of course. But they, they've been very helpful with me. And Kelly knows a lot about the, the the series so it's been very helpful and detailed about all the things I need to know and they basically bought me saying look it's gonna uh, happen in Japan with ninjas so I said okay I'll do it they they, uh, they brought you in by giving you the ninja yeah, <laughs> yeah of course so I said you, you'll have to draw a lot of ninjas fighting, and I said, "Okay, well, okay, good. I'll do it." <laughs> yeah, I, got mean, I could imagine you might be in a little bit of nervous because out of all of comics today, everything Skybound is doing with the Energon universe is probably the most popular thing that's happening in all of comics right now. Outside yeah. of I know Ultimate Spider Man has been extremely popular since it came out, but. Man, the Energon universe, everyone's talking about it. And it's got to be some of the fastest selling um, comic books um, in the market, at least in the U.S. market. Yeah, it's, I admit, it's very scary. Uh, but I, 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 it's fun because the other day I was out with the friends 
And I'm not with, I don't have a lot of comic friends. Like uh, I have people that have all other kinds of interests. And when he told me, look, I know that the Transformers are doing stuff with G.I. Joe. I said, how you know that? <laughs> I said, because basically it's something that's getting spread out everywhere, even in places where you don't, yeah. you don't believe they could. So uh, I get that the size of this thing is pretty big. And I'll, um, I am... I'll be honest, I don't have to to hide myself. I think it shows a bit like in, in the pages. You, um, the first issue has been also uh, a, a moment where I had to get into uh, know the colorist, know how Kelly works and all that stuff. After a lot of years working with Patrick, that basically <laughs> we did a lot of book stuff uh, together. So uh, I think it shows that I had a, a kind of stiff start in the art that gets smoother at, at the end of the issue. Uh, the, the, the fortune we had is that having uh, an oversized issue helped me to, you know, get at the end of it ready to, to do all the other and with a smoother and um, more intense uh art style mm -hmm. uh, it's not to to put my hands uh, in front to to <laughs> evade any critiques but it's to show that i know what i've done i'm sure that uh um a very smart eye can understand that yeah yeah I, there, there there's I've been also the cover, marco and it looks amazing man <laughs> the cover Thank looks you. awesome Thank you so much yeah so uh yeah the the that's what what I've been working on on the first issue. Um, it's very excited. There is a lot of of action. Um, I put a lot of stuff that I like to do. So uh, I think someone that read Frontiersman in Antioch will find my how I usually do stuff in there. Uh, that it's kind of different from um, from Duke or or cover commander artists. Um, I'm also sometimes very manga, manga heavy inspired. So yeah. I know that G.I. Joe, that it's very American comics book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> looking can, can be um, not weirded out. I mean, but could be maybe refreshing. I'm, I'm not sure. I hope that the people will like the art, but of course, the art is there to serve the story, and we, we have a superstar writing it. So, uh, if it's not for the art, yeah. I, I I'll tell all the readers to go check it for the story because I think um, uh, it's the first issue of the GI Joe for the Energy Universe with a uh, female lead characters, um, and Kelly brought it. Uh, very, uh, in a very smart way, I think. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I, I'll just say, check it out and <laughs> give it a chance. I'm, I, I'm sure you'll find something uh, you like in it. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's also part of the Energon universe, right? So all these stories are tying in. Um, so it's going to be crucial for anybody that's in the Energon universe right now reading Duke or Cobra Commander or Transformers or Void Rivals that they pick up Destro and uh, Scarlet because those stories will all tie together yeah. uh, eventually, yeah. which is exciting. I mean, that's that's amazing. Yeah, I can talk about what's exactly the, the, the staff that will bring all the story together, of course, also because it would be... Uh, bad to to spoil it out and yeah if no, you we don't want to do that <laughs> better. but yeah uh, of course it's um intertwined with uh with all all the other uh book in the series and it's fun yeah. it's very fun like i i love the idea of this uh universe this um this universe of, of stories that 
goes into each other. Uh, and you can, you, if you've read Frontiersman and, and the Antioch know it, that I love doing that. We, we built Frontiersman like it was already an established uh, character with all these past yeah. bad guys, superheroes. And we did the same with Antioch. And of course, we'll do the same with the next issue of the of the Frontiersman universe. And so that's a really fun part of the energy universe. All the characters and all the stories get into each other. And, and yeah, you know, like, uh, um, I can't find the word, but you get the, the idea, like. Um, for sure, for uh, sure. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I the word, sorry. That's okay. I don't know the word in Italian either, so we're even. <laughs> you know, uh, Marco, when when working, because you have worked with Patrick for a long time, um, and every writer and creator has a different style. Every artist has a different style. Um, how is making that transition from working with Patrick to a Kelly? Is there a lot of different differences between their communication as far as the page layouts and everything or is that part of the business very similar between writers um uh it, it's been um hard because uh the, the antique book uh, no sorry uh hard is not the right word it's been uh it asked me for a little bit of of time more time than um I thought I would need to, because um, working on the Antioch series, uh, Patrick was, me and Patrick were very much uh, into the, the, all the stuff we were doing. So at some point, we, he completely stopped giving me um, a director idea or panel and stuff like that. He just said, we need to go through this situation. Mm -hmm. And, or I write, I might, maybe I write three or four pages and go give them back to him and he adjusts them or, or back and through from each other to work on that. So um, um, that this time was easier because I had all the things I need to do, but um, I had to also get back into a more um, more strict space of what I I can do and what I is being um, right to, to do what the script asks. So uh, get the, 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 get back in, in my uh, habits and have to really study the script. It's been, it took a little bit of time, but um, Kelly is very precise and detailed uh, with all the reference I needed for all the characters, all the situation I I had to go through. So uh, she never let me be lost in the script. She did, and uh, it's very common. I mean, sorry, um, she she did a very very detailed script. Also, because at the time when she wrote the first script, I uh, they didn't knew the artist, so. Uh, now she's she's shaping the script around me and my art so you'll see also that as we get to know each other also the the books get um, more smoother and uh, more uh, a two-person uh, song more than uh, me reproducing what she wrote yeah yeah i mean that, that's a good place to be in right because that relationship between the writer and the artist is really important to be able to tell the story because your art has to tell a large portion of that story as well, right? So uh, yeah. I think it's very common that there's going to take some time before that chemistry starts to line up 100%. But I mean, you're both professionals and you've done it before. So you might see something that most people probably won't see um, just because you're so close to it, right? Yeah, I admit that I will redo all the first issue immediately <laughs> after I've finished. I've seen the other day because I had to um, get some reference for, for stuff I did on prior pages. And I was going through all the pages because, uh, yeah, of course, I'm doing traditionally because maybe some people, it's interesting. I work traditional. Um, so basically paper and inks, nothing, nothing fancy, but... Uh, um, 
I was looking through, I would say, I was looking through all those pages and weirded out. I said, mm, I will redo them all together. How, how they ask me to do this book. I'm not that good. Please, uh, please. <laughs> this spotlight is too big for me. Um, so it's, uh, it's my biggest fear. I mean, that probably is just something I had to get used to because it's my first time being doing something um, that big. So they must have saw something that they liked in your prior work because you know frontiersmen and antioch were both through image as well so uh, my assumption is someone was watching you the whole time going hey this this guy's pretty good we'll, we'll get him on something eventually and uh, here's your opportunity and i'm happy for you marco i think it's awesome man. this kid really draw i think a good spotlight um on uh, on art that you know anybody who's read some of your prior stuff knows that it's really good so i think you'll be okay Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got a really busy year this year with Scarlet. My assumption there's a lot of other things going on in your life. How do you plan out your day um, for all these different projects um, that you have? I mean, you you mentioned it's a little bit challenging being on a new book. And yeah, uh, how are you balancing all of that? But it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's very hard because... Yeah. Um, um, I, I'm in the last year. I started uh, avoid working at night, so I I try to get up early in the morning and work all day, and try to stop like if work a little bit after dinner, but yeah. just like you know, at eleven p.m. Say okay, stop for the day, uh, and I know it's something maybe people will think is stupid, but I like I don't take very much weekend off so I work on on the weekend too um because I I, I have this fear of not doing enough if I'm not working because every time I'm doing something else but I'm trying to 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 um, compliment myself with sometimes you know going to the to the theater see a movie or stuff like that because uh uh, it's needed uh, and so but basically i work all day i <laughs> i work all day and i like taking my evening to read comics lately i'm i'm catching up with a lot of mangas that i left behind i'm usually on pair with um uh, comic series i read i'm I just received the new Shazam by Dan Mora. I'm reading that, and I'm reading the um, the new Batman uh, series, the one shot uh, from the one one bad day series. Yeah. So I'm reading those uh, when it's, and I'm waiting. Of course, uh, I'm reading uh, nights the night series from Image from my friends Wyatt and Luigi. That's very good there doing something amazing um what else um i just received and not read yet but i love the art i really love um uh, alessio work it's called i love heart hearts uh, i love uh, school breaker i heart school breaker i think oh it's yeah from I heart school breaker yeah i heart school breaker from boom studios yeah uh, that's something very fresh and yeah. i like yeah and um, I'm waiting for for my for for having all the issue of Don Runner because I want to see that how it goes and that's that. I'm, but I'm reading also some mangas, but basically I'm reading One Piece because I'm yeah. yeah I'm very late to the party. I left it in like twenty issue ago, so I have to catch back. Uh, uh, one piece basically. you could be reading for the next 20 years I, there's like a, a thousands of books right that you have to catch up on yeah probably um <laughs> it's 20 it's years not... i think right 20 something years worth of books yeah I'm mistaken I, that's that's uh i was yeah. gonna start reading too and i was like there's too much to read i'll just wait for the netflix show to come out again <laughs> yeah it, i i really for um uh, from a fan perspective because uh I read all the series. Uh, I I think the, the Netflix series was very fun. I, I don't know. 
how all the critics, I mean, if just bring people reading the comics, it's a win for everyone. Yeah. I think it's a nice series. It's one of the few Netflix adaptation that I think they really nailed the yeah. the object, the objective of getting people interested in the universe. So that's fun. Agree. Um I know it's not a very exciting um uh, routine mine lately. Um I'm as I'm working with on the Scarlet book, I'm also working on my humanoid books. We don't have a title yet, so I, I can say I'm working on this, but um so I try to do, you know, three days working on Scarlet and other two on the other book to keep everyone going forward uh, all together naturally. Um, I'm waiting for uh, another very uh, interesting project I love, um, but um, I'm just waiting to know what's going to happen uh, from one of the big two. I won't say what, and I don't say what is, but um, it was a series that I, I loved a lot because uh, I get I get to know it when I went to the U.S. for the first time that uh, uh, prior mentioned New York Comic Con, yeah. and I remember it was very influential for me in getting in contact with that series. And after all these years, knowing the creators still ask me if I was interested to continue, it's very fun. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it to the to that. And if all goes uh, uh, on plans, it should be something I will talk like next year. So that's it. Um, and that's all. I'll start doing some cons when I have the possibility. Uh, I went to Heroes Con last year. I would like to do some more this year, but I'm not sure. Uh, that's something very, very fun. I've never been to Comic Con as a as a guest as an artist, so uh, that's a very nice. Um, <laughs> I think that's going to happen here uh, very soon, Marco. Especially if you're writing for GI Joe, because I uh, like San Diego or New York is going to be huge this year because of the Energon Universe and Skybound uh, always has a big, big booth at both of those. So, well, that that would be fun. I I admit that 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 would be really fun too. To attend, uh, we'll see. And um, I don't know still if I knew I would sit, but um, I don't know. I'll I'll have I'll prefer do my stuff, do my what I have to do, and think of those as an aftermath of yeah. of having done a nice book. That's that's what I want to say. <laughs> For doing a nice book and not get yeah. uh, <laughs> but then have done a bad book and get there and get people angry at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I think you'll be all right, Marco. I think you'll be all right. Well, Marco, I can't tell you how much I appreciate getting to meet you. I'm a big fan of your work. I cannot wait for Scarlet to come out. Um, I've been in contact with Kelly, so we're hoping to get her on the podcast as well, um, which will be really exciting. Um, but uh, don't be so hard on yourself, my friend. You're very good at what you do. And uh, make sure that you take some time for yourself because you don't yeah. want to get burnt out and... Uh, you get to a point where you don't like art anymore if you get burnt out. So you don't want to have that. <laughs> yeah, I have to avoid it because um, I, I think it's something uh, happens to a lot of artists. At some point, you there is a period that you love drawing. And after that, when you start doing this as a job, you completely hate it. But from like two years, I really love doing it. And I don't want to lose the, this momentum. So I'm in a moment where I really like drawing and I want to keep it as long as possible. So <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. Anything else, Marco, that we uh, missed? Um, not sure. Do you have any question? You, you yeah, no, to... I you know. I think Scarlet is, uh, is it June when it comes out? Yeah. 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 It's, 5 June, 5 of yeah, June. June 5th, yeah. So uh, everybody that's waiting on that, we're we're getting close, right? We're almost to April, so yeah. uh, we don't have to wait too much longer for Scarlet. And I think Destro comes out just a week later or a week earlier. I can't remember which one. Uh, yeah, it, it should be at the end of uh, the uh, Cobra Commander 
like you, you, there should be a, a one week uh, off between Cobra Commander and Destro and one week off between Duke and Scarlet. So as you finish one of the series, you don't have to uh, worry about the uh, overwhelmed uh, number of, of stuff you had to, to buy. Yeah. They naturally work to, to get you through all, all the series and don't miss anything from the Amazon universe. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't miss it, man. I love it. One of my favorite things to read is the Energon universe right now. It's been a lot of fun since Skybound took over and and expanded the universe into all these other titles. And uh, congratulations on being a part of that. That's that's pretty special. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I know. <laughs> well, Marco, thank you so much for spending some time with me uh, this morning, my morning, your afternoon. But uh, I would love to have you back again, maybe as we get toward the end of Scarlet, just yeah. to talk about your experience of doing that. And then maybe that at that time, you could share a little bit more of what you're doing that I know of you're course. in conversations with. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, that would be an honor, really. I mean, uh, thank you so much for having me and for giving me a chance to talk about comics. Yeah, I so love it. Always fun. Always fun. All right, Marco. Thank you so much. Appreciate you and uh, have a great rest of your week. Thank you. You too. All right. Talk soon.